All right, here I'm going to show you how to one-click root the Samsung Captivate. Um, it's a pretty easy process. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have all your drivers installed first before you start this process. Um, first thing you're going to want to do after you've got your drivers installed is download Super One Click, um, which you can get from Android Advice. Um, now the phone itself, what you're going to want to do is make sure that it's in USB debugging mode, um, settings, applications, development, and here, USB debugging mode. Um, now once it's in USB debugging mode, when you plug it in, it'll, it'll, it should install all the drivers that you need. You shouldn't need to um, go to Samsung and, and find any of them. Um, so now we're going to plug the phone in, and then we're going to set it down. Okay. Um, now we're going to open up Super One Click, which we downloaded earlier. And we're going to click, we're going to make sure this is on auto. And then here we're going to click root. Sorry for the blur, my camera's having issues. Um, it's going to go through the process, it's going to tell you what needs to be done. Um, it'll go through the root process, which shouldn't take too long, 30 seconds maybe. Um, Now this device has been rooted already, um, but here you're going to want to say yes, um, and it will send an SU command to the phone. You may get um, BusyBox is not installed, would you like to install it now? You're going to want to say yes if that comes up. Um, then it will install SuperUser and everything else for you, so you won't have to worry about it. Okay, so now that we're rooted. Um, we can close out of, of Super One Click. And then we're going to take the phone and go ahead and unplug it because we're completely done with what we need. And we need to manually reboot it. Super One Click, some phones it'll reboot, sometimes it won't. Um, but we're going to want to power off. Okay, and then we're going to want to turn it back on. Why these don't have um, reboot on them by default without installing a custom ROM, I'll never know. Um, now once this boots back up, we're going to want to test this in something like Titanium Backup or any other application that requires root. I like using Titanium Backup because... Um, of course, the first thing you're going to want to do once it's rooted is back up the phone so that if you may have any mistakes, you know, try to install a custom ROM and mess up, you've got that backup of your your stock ROM. Okay, I'll wait for it to. Okay. So now, just to test it to show you that it is rooted, we'll go to Applications and. Titanium backups right here. Now, when you're doing this for the first time with Titanium Backup, it's going to pop up with a super user window and it's going to ask you to allow uh, rights. Um, in this case it was already done, see it was already granted super user rights because I allowed it and, and told it to remember before. So we're rooted. Now you have a, see the super user app was added, you have a rooted Samsung Captivate. All right, you can go to androidadvice.com if you have any other uh, questions or if you want to follow along with the actual instructions instead of just the video. Good luck.